Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2017 Sabre 36 BHQ. This is an awesome loft model. Uh, if you haven't seen one before, you're definitely in for a pretty cool experience. It's a great floor plan, something that they're doing with bunk models now. And what that is, is you can see right back here, the parents get the rear living room, and that's what you have. You have big dual opposing slides here, great space. Let's go ahead and start off right over here on our freestanding table and chairs. Uh, this is great because this coach, as you'll see when we go through, has plenty of other sleeping space. So rather than having the dinette, I definitely like the freestanding table option. Uh, gives you a lot more room, looks a little bit nicer, easier to get in and out of as well. Then right down below there, you will see there's an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug anything in, whether it's a laptop or phone, it is easy to do. Right over here, you have what Sabre is calling Cinemax seating. It's extremely comfortable. Both of these do recline. You have four cup holders here, two for each person. Right in the center, you have some extra storage for remotes, anything else you want to put in there. And this is really neat too. If you take a look, there's a couple options on here. Uh, this one has some under lighting as well as a cup holder lights up. It actually has heat and a massage option, which is super neat. So you turn that on, it's nice and relaxing. You have the heat going, you're getting a back massage. That's what it's all about when you want to wind down, right? So definitely really cool. Uh, if you take a look at the back, this is your sofa here, tri-fold sofa. So again, you know, this does fold out into a bed. It's very comfortable to sleep on. You can see the cushions here, very comfortable to sit there as well. And both sides have nice big shelves. You will see underneath the shelves, you have storage. And up above the shelves, you have not an electrical outlet, but you have USB ports on both sides. That's something that Sabre is really good at. They know that technology is moving ahead. More and more people have electronic devices they bring with them, and you will see several USB ports throughout this coach. Roller shades in here too. If you take a look at that, you have roller shades throughout, which are great. Uh, they don't you know, bend or break like your standard shades do. You don't have to worry about strings constantly snapping. They work very well. Storage along the top there. And then you will also see you have uh, LED lights throughout the entire coach, which are very nice because not only do they not put out near as much heat, they also use a fraction of the power. If you take a look right above me, a couple cool things. One, you do have a ceiling fan right here, which is great for helping circulate the air, you know, pushing the hot air back down if you're trying to heat it up in here. Also, you'll notice the uh, light is directly above your center island, which is right where you want it. Helps brighten up your prep space. Speaking of the center island, because you have the dual opposing slides, you're able to have this right here. Uh, you can see the high rise kind of industrial style faucet on there, which is very nice. They do give you a sink top cover. If we take this off, you'll see the undermount sink right there, which is great. Uh, single bowl sink too. So that way, if you do have any kind of residential cookware, it will easily fit down in there. You also have a bank of three drawers running along here, full extension ball bearing drawers. You can see this one is divided for you for silverware. Uh, and then right underneath the sink here, they give you a spot for a trash can, so you don't have to worry about where that goes. And again, as far as plugins, uh, if you see right up front here, again, you have the normal electrical outlet and dual USB ports. Now when you're sitting in your Cinemax seating, straight across is exactly what you want and that is your entertainment center. So uh, that's definitely huge. You'll see that in a lot of floor plans these days. That way you don't have to crane your neck. I'm glad they did it here. Right underneath is your multimedia center. That is your radio CD and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can just pop it right in there. It's built in for you. Don't have to worry about bringing one. And then underneath is your fireplace. Now the fireplace is great because not only is it aesthetically pleasing, but that also basically is a big space heater and it'll do a good job of taking the chill off in this space. The other added benefit is this runs off electric. So if you're camping and you don't have uh, you know, a seasonal or anything where you pay for electric, that essentially is free heat. Then right up top, you can see they kind of have the fluted glass on here. It is backlit, so it's easy to see, but that's great extra storage all the way along the top of that entertainment center. Uh, stepping back into the kitchen a little bit, one of the other things I love that you're seeing in more and more fifth wheels is this right here, and that is a pantry. Yeah, you have to love having a pantry. You're bringing a lot of food with you, especially when you have you know, a bunk model where you're probably going to be uh, having several people sleep. So it's great that you have the space. And also, 
these shelves don't come all the way forward. I like that as well. It gives you a little bit of space here. So if you need to bring, um, you know, like a broom or a mop or something, a Swiffer, you have space where you can set it right in there. Moving a little bit further into the kitchen here, you see the microwave up top. It does have the weight of this unit. You're looking at 12,110 pounds is the dry weight. A little bit of storage next to that. Underneath here is your stainless steel hood with the light and a fan. You can see the really cool backlit uh, backsplash right there, which is neat. The cooktop has a glass cover on here too. So again, that gives you usable prep space. That folds back just like so, very easy to get to. And then you have your three burner suburban cooktop there. Underneath is the oven if you wanna do some baking. And then over to this side, you have deep additional storage, which can be a nice place for some pots and pans. Then as you move further into the kitchen yet, uh, you know, kind of rounding it out, you have the residential refrigerator. This is also awesome. Uh, I love that manufacturers are doing this. You can take a look here, plenty of room in there. Um, underneath you have not only one, but you actually have two freezer drawers on here. So a ton of freezer space. Uh, res you know, again, like I said, residential refrigerator, stainless steel, definitely a nice addition to any coach. Now, right behind me is a, what they call a bonus room. It's really cool. Uh, again, this is what lets you sleep a lot of people in here. We'll see the loft in a second. But before we enter, I want to give you the whole picture. This is something that Sabre's doing. It's very unique. You can see kind of this almost rustic accent wall they put on here. It gives it a great look. They've gone to a farm-style door rather than your standard door. So, you know, again, you see a lot in a residential, a residential trend. It's now starting to carry over into your RVs. But come on in with me a quick second. Go ahead and turn some lights on in here. If you take a look, so over here you have a top bunk, 300 pound capacity on there. Uh, this does lift up and lock into place, so that way you have a couch underneath that you can use. Uh, this couch is a bed as well, so you have two beds there. And if you take a look underneath, this actually pulls out. You have a third bed you can pull out on the floor. So, you know, that's why I say this is an awesome space. You can sleep a ton of extra people in here and you still have the rear living. Then straight across, you have a spot for TV hookup right there. Again, USB ports. I told you they have them throughout. It's kind of that same cool accent wall there. A couple of drawers here down below. And then over to the side, you can see you have a hanging rod across, which is great. I love when manufacturers put a hanging rod in the bunk room, a place to hang the kids' clothes. And then, of course, some additional storage underneath. So as we head up the stairs, you'll see as soon as you walk in the door, you have these double doors right here. When you open that up, there's actually a coat hook in there. You have four hooks, which is very nice. So it's easy to grab your coats and you have a place to put them. Then as you make your way up the stairs a little bit further, you'll see right here, uh, there is a ladder. And the reason for that is this right over here. As I mentioned, this is a loft. So you can see the bed loft up top, plenty large for two adults up here. You can see both sides of the headboard there have an electrical outlet as well as a USB port. Uh, so it definitely adds a lot of sleeping space uh, in this RV. Window here in the hall to help add in a little bit of extra light. And then right over here is the bathroom. The bathroom of the 36 BHQ is nice and spacious. You can see the foot flush lever toilet here, plenty of leg room all the way around. Off to the side is a linen closet. You can see I have great space in there. And then over here is the uh, shower. You have the tri-slide glass door. Nice big shower. You can see I have a ton of room in here. I'm about six foot. I have a ton of head space, especially with the skylight up top there as well. The shower also has a seat down here. You have a shelf there as well as over here and a hand wand to make washing nice and easy. As we take a step back out, you can see the sink top and vanity. Beautiful backlit mirror here. This does open. You have a medicine cabinet behind there. Hand towel ring here as well as an electrical outlet. And then underneath is additional storage. The bedroom of the 36 BHQ features a slide out power bed. This is really neat. That way, if you want to get up and read a book at night, you can sit there and have it up on an angle. Also makes it a little bit easier to get out of bed, or maybe you just want to watch TV and have a different viewing angle. Again, you can go ahead and control the angle at which the bed sits up. You'll also see you have a couple of reading lights there. You have LED lights above, as well as on the wall. You can either have the uh, normal white light or the blue accent light here on the other side. Uh, you'll also see there's windows on both sides for uh, extra light coming in. And then you have shelves there too. 
Both sides of the bed have an electrical outlet as well as dual USB ports. This one is on the wall. On the other side here, it is actually on the side of the bed. If you take a look all the way up front, you have this beautiful wardrobe. Again, you have the barn style doors on here, which is very cool. Big shelf right up top. Then if you take a look underneath, you will see your hanging rod as well as a great shoe shelf space there. And in the corner, you also have washer dryer hookup. At the foot of the bed, you have an additional window to let in some more light. TV hookups right up top here, so you can put a TV there on the wall. And a dresser with a, uh, three drawers there to uh, go ahead and put any other clothes that you can't fit up front. Lastly, you do have a second AC in here, so on those hot days, it will make sure that you stay nice and cool. But all right, folks, that just about wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Sabre 36 BHQ. This one is in the Espresso interior. This is a great floor plan. I love the loft models. You know, it just has a lot of versatility. It still gives you the rear living so you can entertain, so you have your own space to hang out. You're not giving up the whole back to a bunkhouse. And then if the kids do come with you, you have uh, both the bonus room with essentially three beds in there and the loft up top. When the kids grow up and move on out, no big deal. You just have an office, extra space, uh, you know, or if they do come back from college, want to stay, whatever it may be. But the Sabre definitely has a lot going on. If you are interested in this product and you would like price and availability, either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most uh, up-to-date price and information. Also, if you enjoyed this video tour, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you can be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.